One of the more important concepts we use CAD for are to locate and put holes in a particular part. So on your screen, you see a diagram I made. You can see the different types of holes. It's just a diagram to help, help students better understand what hole types are. So some of the bigger concepts are to talk about what blind and what through mean. Through is fairly obvious. It goes through the entire part. Blind means it has a defined point. It goes through a certain distance. Counter bore looks like this up at the top, whereas a counter sink looks more like a funnel up the top. I always remember because I think of a sink as it funnels water down the drain. So it's important that you gain an understanding of the different types of holes and how they can be used. Now let's talk about how we can actually put those in Infusion. We're going to spend some time working on this particular file in this video. So it's a pretty simple piece other than the counter bore hole, and that's a slightly different thing for us. So let's take a look at how we do this. So in Onshape, I'm going to create a document, and I'm just going to call it angled hole block. So for this, I'll get the basic overall dimensions, but at first I'll go to sketch. Choose that front view and press in for normal, or I could use the view cube, right? Let's look at the drawing. We know on the drawing, we have a 1.6 length and a one inch height. And it looks like we could probably go ahead and do this line as well. So let's go ahead and get the, the basic square taken care of it first. So 1.6 by one, let's do that. So I'm gonna choose my rectangle and place it. I know the, the horizontal is gonna be 1.6, then I'll press enter. That takes me over to the vertical, and I know that this needs to be one. So all of this is gonna happen in this size of shape. Now if I remember right, there's a line that does something like this. It just kinda of connects the two pieces. So I've got that line drawn. Let's look at the drawing again. So from this edge to this point is one inch, and then I need to figure out the height of this thing. So the height of this thing looks like 0.25. Okay, so one and 0.25. Let's take care of those. So I'm gonna grab the dimension tool, and go point to point here, and this was supposed to be one, and this is supposed to be 0.25. All right, so I've got the overall. I think what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and let's extrude it. It looks like it needs to be a half inch thick. So we'll hit shift E. Remember, selected everything, we'll uncheck that. And for the depth, this is supposed to be 0.5. And then we'll go ahead and click the green check mark. So this shape is right there. Now, we've also got to add this hole here. This first off, looking at the notes here, this is a counter bore. And it's a half inch counter bore, so the diameter of the big circle is a half inch. And it's drilled down a depth of 0.125, so it's coming down like we can look at this view here, the top view. It's coming down 0.125. The diameter of the inside hole is 0.266, and it goes all the way through. Okay, so 0.266, and it goes through. Let's take a look at how to do this in, in on shape. What I like to do when I get ready to put the hole in is I actually go back into sketch mode here. And I like to use points. So I'll click in point and I'm gonna put a point on there and this is where I'm gonna locate the hole. So if I'm thinking about this hole, let's look at the drawing. I wanna know where do I put the center of the drill bit. So it looks like a half inch from each edge. So I'm gonna use my dimension tool. I'll click from the edge to the point, and that should be 0.5. And then this point to the bottom line here should also be 0.5. There's where the hole is going to be located. So if I got to put the drill bit in, there's where it'll be. I'll go ahead and hit the green check mark. Now I'm going to choose hole up here on the features menu. This is where I'm going to be specific about this, the hole. We know this is a counter bore. 
So now I'm seeing, all right, so the width of the top, so the bore part, let's take a look at that. That looks like it's going to be 0.5, and it's drilled to a depth of 0.125. So let's go in there. So this is 0.5. It's already set for us. The depth of that is 0.125. What I need to decide is what's the diameter of the through hole? So the through hole in this is going to be that smaller. So this is 0.266. So I'll come up here and say, all right, this is 0.266. Now I've got to decide, where is it termination? If, is it, if it's blind, I'll click blind, and then you see other things will pop up, and I can define a depth. This one actually is through, so I'll say through all. Okay, so now I've got my bore part set here, my through part set here. Really, at this point, all I've got to do now is click the point here, and it'll put that hole in for me. That's why that point is really important. Okay, so the point is going to be used as a reference. So you can see up here there are other types of holes. Here's a simple hole, which is, you know, a typical circular hole. There's a countersink as well. Okay, so the countersink, let's rotate that so you can see what a countersink is going to look like. Counter bore is actually what we wanted, so that is actually perfect. We'll go ahead and click that green check mark. So we've got something that looks just like this. Things are looking really good. So now let's see if we can advance ourselves some. Let's see if we can take on something a little bit more like this. Okay, this is really... It's just a, a whole block. I know it looks just cumbersome with all these numbers on here, but it's really a block with one, two, three, four holes in it. So let's just discuss strategy here. I think the first thing I'm going to do is make the block, right? It's going to be a one inch thick block, five inches long by two inches tall. So I'm going to go ahead and make the block. So five by two by one. So we could do it right here in this same document, but I'm going to go ahead and start a new one. I'll create a document and I'll call it the whole block. And I click create. So I'll go ahead and establish, I'll say front view. Let's go ahead and normalize that. I want this block, this rectangle rather, we'll start that way. It's supposed to be five inches long. And then I'll press enter, and it's two inches tall. And I'll go ahead, shift E for extrude, and it is supposed to be one inch. So one inch is already there. I'll go ahead and click the green check mark. So there's the block. That's where everything's going to happen. Now what I'm going to do, if you remember from our previous one, we put the points in. All right, so I'm going to click sketch. I'll click the top view of this, and I'll hit N for normal. And I know there's a series of points, so I'm going to go back up here and click point. You notice shift and S is a shortcut for that. I know by looking at the drawing that all of these points from, you know, from edge to edge are right in the middle. So I can go ahead and take care of those. And I know there's four of them. So if I go right up here, there it is. That kind of highlights that midpoint for me. I'm going to say one, and I want them all to be on the same line. So I use as a reference, see that dotted line three, and four. Now I'll dimension them. And let's look. Looks like one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. So basically they're all an inch apart from one another. So from the line to here, this is just going to be one. And then from the line to here is going to be two. We'll do the same. We'll just continue on with that. So there's going to be a three. And the finally we get to the last dot and or the point rather, and it's a four. All right, so we have all that taken care of. All right, now I'll go ahead and click that green check mark. Looks like it did get an extra point out here, but it's not gonna bother us. So we're gonna go ahead and click hole now. And I'm looking at the first hole on here. So right here, this one. Let's go up here and look at the hole note. First, there's the counter bore symbol. So the counter bore says it's a half inch diameter drilled to 0.25, and it's a through hole, so it's a quarter inch all the way through. So let's take a look at that. 
So I'll go in here now and I'll say counter bore. Now, Onshape kind of remembers the last few things you did, so that's helpful. We know the diameter is 0.5. The depth of the bore, though, was 0.25. Okay, so I'm taking care of that. And then I know that it's 0.25, like the diameter itself, and it does go all the way through. Then I will click this point, and it'll put that in. Go ahead and click the green check mark. Now you notice all those holes went away. That's not fair. We need those back. What I'll do over here is the sketch I used to put them in. I haven't done anything. I haven't clicked anything yet. I just kind of highlight it, run, run my mouse over it. I'll click the eyeball, and that'll establish those points back for me. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to hole. The next one over, let's take a look at it. So we're looking at this hole right here. It is a counter sink. Okay, it is also through. Right, so it shows a diameter of 0.5 at 82 degrees. So the angle here is 82. And it's 0.25 through. So I'm going to switch over to counter sink. It does say 0.5 for the counter sink part. There's the 82 degrees, which you're going to find is pretty well default. And then it's 0.25 in diameter for the small hole, and it's through all. Now the last thing I got to do, I got to click the point where that hole actually goes. And there it is. We'll click the green check mark. So I've got two out of the four of those done. All right. Let's do one more together, and then you can do the last one on your own. Let's take a look. I'll go ahead and click hole to get that set up for us. We'll go to on shape, you know, to the drawing. And it looks like we're dealing with this hole here. Now this one, if we look at the section view here, the third one over, it does not go all the way through. It's a blind hole. So there's a dimension there, right? Luckily, it's a pretty simple one. It's a diameter of 0.25 and it's drilled to a depth of 0.5. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is a simple hole. So you notice things change. There's the depth. Or excuse me, there's the diameter. Now instead of termination where it says through all, I got to say blind. And in this particular case, this should be 0.5 because it does not go all the way through. Finally, click the point that it needs to be on and click the green check mark. For the final one, try that on your own.